Hi, I'm Carol Dean, president of From the Heart Productions, the nonprofit that offers the Roy W. Dean Film Grants and helps filmmakers make their dreams come true. Well, by now, you know I'm a firm believer in miracles. I see them happen every day to filmmakers that we sponsor. And I want you to know how to make a miracle happen in your life. This is why I want to introduce you to the brilliant British author, Stuart Wilde. Now, Stuart believes that to understand miracles, we have to look at two aspects of the universal law. First, he says there lies deep within all mankind an immense power. Second, the power is impartial and unemotional. Call it the universal mind or whatever you will. It is this power that allows man the recognition of the universal life force that we call God. The life force is eternal and it's part of all things. Moreover, it is a major part of each of us. Consequently, we all have within us an unlimited power. Now, creating miracles in our lives becomes a matter of identifying with the power, understanding its characteristics, and learning to use it effectively. Stewart says that you need to say to yourself, I'm eternal, immortal, universal, and infinite, and what I am is beautiful. Then you lock into the power source. Universal law is impartial and unemotional. It has no way of knowing what you want. It's pure energy. It accepts whatever thoughts, feelings, and actions you project, and it reflects them back to you unemotionally in the form of events that you experience day to day. In much the same way, as he explains, electricity illuminates both a brothel and the vicar's tea party. So it will give you anything you believe in, no more, no less. Therefore, he says, the key to understanding miracles is to look at the beliefs that you express as thoughts and feelings. Because we create our reality by our beliefs and thoughts, which reminds me of Henry Ford who said, whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, you're right. Because Ford knew that our mind controls our destiny. Well, Stewart thinks that we're much more than our minds and our bodies. And to understand life's mission, we need to know that we are an infinite part of the God force using physical form for daily life. Loving yourself is a major step to the realization of who you are. To move you into your true power, you need to honor your talents and never put yourself down. Next, you want to move yourself out of the controlling mindset of the collective unconscious into discipline and power. And in this place, you can believe anything is possible. Remember when they said that no one could break the four-minute mile? Well, as soon as that happened, many more people broke that barrier. It was the collective unconscious that said you can't do it. So move out of that field into the infinite knowing that you are a powerful being and you are connected to the God force. And your ability to work miracles is predicated entirely on how easily and quickly that you can give the collective unconscious the slip. It's your attachment to the collective unconscious or world belief patterns that hold you back. So realize that when things go well, it's because you put that image into the universal law and it responded. So Stuart asked them to imagine the universal law as a shipping clerk in a big mail order company. Let's pretend Amazon. So if somebody gets your order but it has no idea who you are and if the order says size 8, he sends out size 8. And it's of no concern to him whether or not size 8 fits you. He filled your order. Well, in daily life, your feelings, thoughts, and attitudes are your order form. And before you decide to change your present conditions, you must be very sure that what you want from life, uh, you are positive when you write it down and you clearly state exactly what you want. Because embarking on a miracle action plan is really important to spend time meditating on the conditions of the material objects you want. Universal law is the shipping clerk waiting for your clear and concise order. And the currency with which you're going to pay for all this is your belief. 
If you can maintain that feeling of power and live as if your wish has already been granted by the universal law, your wish will be delivered, guaranteed. But you cannot be half-hearted. You need to feel that no matter what adversity faces you, you will reach your objective. You can have anything you want, and when you create it, it becomes yours. You'll have to take the path like a warrior, like you're going to achieve your goal no matter what confronts you. Stuart truly believes your mind can create your future. And next is Stuart's Miracle Action Plan, and we'll cover that in part two.